And because men are so linear and so logical and they just want to fix problems. They want to solve problems. And a, and a woman deep down just wants to be heard. She wants to be felt. She wants to be understood. She doesn't want to be fixed. And so it's really about a man growing his receptivity to be more present and to be more energetically sensitive to sensing the deeper needs. It, I call it the communication that is in the field. Like, what is she saying that she's not saying verbally? Can you read the energy? Can you sense the energy? And that's where a man can have a very healthy and beautiful relationship with his feminine, where he can sense his environment. He can sense people's emotions and he can sense the moment and the safety of the moment, what can and can't be said. So let's jump into the relationship aspect. And, and one of them, I think the uh, patterns. And so let's talk about the workaholic who, you know, whose wife might say, you know, he works too much. He's always at work. When he comes home, he's just not there anyway. Yeah, this is, this is a great pain for both the man and the woman, because, you know, most men were taught provide and protect, and you've done a great job. You know, and most men feel undervalued and underappreciated for the amount of work that they put in to do that, to provide and protect. However, you know, we're in the year 2022, and there are other things that are required from a man that a woman deserves from us, and that's to also be present and to be able to penetrate open the moment, meaning where she can feel you and you can open up her heart because you're so fiercely present. And so most men come home from work and they're exhausted and they're tired and they want to veg out. They want to grab a beer. They want to flip through Facebook. They want to play video games. They want to watch TV. And all the woman wants to do is like, just share about her day with you. And the guy's coming home exhausted. So it's like, where's the opportunity to have a healthy functioning relationship? Now there's another type of man out there that actually hides at work, meaning he overworks because that's where he feels successful because when he comes home, he doesn't feel that same level of success. So now, this guy's building resentment because he feels undervalued and underappreciated. She's building resentment because she's like, you give all of your time and energy and attention to work. What about me? What about the kids? You give more to your phone. You give more to the video games. You give more to your friends. What about me? So for a man, we, they have to really wake up to there's more to being a man than just providing and protecting. And I, uh, while I was doing my research, you told I, I listened to a story you shared about a gentleman who uh, his wife was going into the hospital and having her second child. And I, and I thought it was so impactful and I'm hoping you can uh, share it again here. Yeah, I know exactly what you're referring to and, and I will hit home on what you asked me. So one of my clients, a gentleman, he wouldn't mind me saying his name, Michael, very wealthy, uh, you know, in excess of $50 million. And when his wife gave birth for their second child, he left the hospital within an hour. And he didn't realize 20 years later, she was still holding on to that. Now, in his mind, the rest of the family's here. We've gone through this before where we've had another child. I see that you're safe. I see that you're protected. I see that the baby's healthy. So I'm going to get back to work. Well, we challenged him in our brotherhood. Why did you have to get back to work? You're successful in business. What is it that made you have to get back to work? And here's the invisible that runs the show for most men. In his mind, and this is not conscious meaning this is subconscious he's not present to this if i don't get to work things will fall apart if things fall apart the company will go bankrupt if the company goes bankrupt we're going to become homeless and have to live in a shelter i'm going to be a loser my wife's not going to respect me my children are going to hate me especially the second baby and then what was the point of my whole life i'm unworthy i'm unlovable i might as well live a miserable existence and die alone where nobody knows where i am and that's the that is what a man carries of terror, of feeling unworthy that I can't provide for my family. And he can't separate and see, wait, in this moment, you just need to be present for your wife. Your company is going to be okay. But if you don't bring this into presence, then you're going to fall into the trap of making all these decisions to try to get away from feeling like you're zero or try to get away from feeling like you're not good enough. And next thing you know, you've destroyed all the relationships that mean the most to you because you're not aware of the invisible force that's been running the ship, which is your desire to get away from feeling like a zero and like you're not good enough. 